Nine players who were too good to get relegated. Andy Johnson. How much would the Andy Johnson of 13 years ago be worth in today's market? With 22 goals in his debut season in top flight football, the pacey 23 year old was tipped for big things. It's just a shame for him that he scored over 50% of Crystal Palace's goals and they were ultimately relegated as a result. Surrounded by the likes of Dougie Friedman, Nicola Ventola and Sandro Torgel, the England international was forced to do it alone. It wasn't enough and he never scored more than 11 goals in a Premier League season ever again. James Milner. James Milner seems to know when to get the hell out of a club. Jumping ship for both Newcastle and Aston Villa before their slide into the championship, the 31 year old is evidently desperate to avoid experiencing the pain of relegation ever again. Having broken through at his hometown Leeds United, Milner showed maturity beyond 18 years and making over 30 appearances for his club during the 0304 season. Unfortunately for him, he was left in tears come May and was flogged to Newcastle for £3.6 million. Charlie Adam. Remember when Charlie Adam, yeah, the Rangers reject, was the hottest property in the Premier League? Having shone for Little Blackpool with 12 goals and 9 assists, the club were inundated with requests for his signature. Spurs, Liverpool, and Man United were all in the hunt as the Seasiders valiantly fell through the trapdoor. Adam did end up at Anfield but found it a bit harder to stand out alongside. Steven Gerrard than he did David Vaughan. Danny Ings. Remember Danny Ings? He seems to be shoved down the back of the couch at Anfield nowadays, nursing a long term injury. The 24 year old has been plagued with injuries since he moved to Merseyside two years ago playing just 6 league games. It was in his last full season when he scored 11 goals and 35 appearances for Burnley that showcased his talents though. At just 21 years of age he showed a killer instinct in front of goal and even bagged 5 in 6 games. However, Sean Dyche's men were ultimately relegated in 19th. Darren Bent. For a man who once cost more than Thierry Henry, to see his career nosedive in such a fashion is quite alarming. Darren Bent is only 33 years old and yet looks destined to see out the rest of his days in the championship. This is a man who once scored 24 league goals for Sunderland, that's two less than the amount they've managed all season. It was at Charlton however where he rose to prominence, bagging 31 goals in 68 games across two seasons, before being unable to save them from relegation. Peter Crouch. It took Peter Crouch to play in a team that got relegated for people to finally take notice of him. Before that he was just a lanky lad who had surely ended up on a football pitch by mistake. If somebody had told Crouch prior to his move to Southampton in the summer of 2004 that he would be England's leading man at the next World Cup before taking part in the Champions League final. He'd have laughed his head off. Unable to break into the Aston Villa side, the Saints took a punt on the human ladder and were repaid with 16 goals in all competitions. Unfortunately, he was relegated on the final day of the season and quickly secured a move to Liverpool. Janino. It's hard not to love Janino. Arriving on loan in Teesside from Atletico Madrid in 1999, the Brazilian lit up the riverside. Mind, it's not hard when you're playing alongside Robbie Musto. Janino sparkled throughout the 1999-2000 season. It was just too bad he was playing in a team of misfits and aging stars. He'd be off at the end of the season once relegation was confirmed, although he would return to win the Carling Cup a couple of years later. Scott Parker. Considering West Ham's relegation in 2011 coincided with Scott Parker finally breaking into the England team at the age of 29, it's fairly clear that he wasn't to blame for the Hammers' demise. The midfielder was nominated for the PFA Player of the Year award and was named the FWA Footballer of the Year. Not bad for somebody who was deemed not good enough for Newcastle four years earlier. Roy Keane. It's hard to believe a serial winner like Roy Keane ever entertained the prospect of relegation. You would have thought a man like him would have been allergic to any position below fourth in the league. It was of course at Nottingham Forest where he experienced such pain, finishing 22nd during the 92-93 season before swiftly engineering a move away from the club. Rocking up at Old Trafford, he would never have to hear the word relegation again. Except when Alan Smith arrived in Floods of Tears in 2004. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.